my dear viewers welcome to this reading this reading is for all aries and my dear aries this is your general reading not only one area of your life meaning every area of your life everything you need to know for september and a little bit over 2024 so welcome you to your september reading and let us begin to see what is important what are important factors for you all starting with the first one i'd like to welcome each and every one of you first message for all aries we have let me get my glasses on we have the the miser okay so it says there could be you could be faced with some stubbornness and inflexibility this could be affecting your um transition to the next level especially if you are in, in have you, you have been on pause and waiting for something to happen whatever you do don't let any stubbornness or any inflexibility stand in your way that's the first message very interesting the second one for all aries here we go sorry i i knew i took two okay here we go it says the the enchanter and this is all about being careful there may be um deception there may be trickery you gotta keep your eyes opened and check everything be um be sure of what um intentions uh, are put in front of you um there could be someone that could be um you know talking really nice and you know enchanting you with their words but you got to be very careful because there is deception and there could be trickery so two very important messages my dear airy two very important messages stubbornness standing in your way or inflex inflexibility and someone who could be you know uh, a good talker but there is deception and trickery involved so that's very important now let's take on two more messages for all Aries, general September. And the first one says you do have options, and you've got to be very careful. Again, this is connected to this part here, the enchanter, because the Seven of Cups could be about um, romantic situations. It could be to do with um, someone, you know, saying that I'm this and I'm that and I'm that, and 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 that could be all deception and trickery, because the Seven of uh, Cups shows that there is a great opportunity of romance or love or, you know, emotional type. Uh, there for you but you gotta um question everything and it comes out from the midst of a lot of mistruths and a lot of deception and hidden agenda so you've got to be able to choose you know who is truth and who isn't so very important and the second one great news coming your way with the knight of swords fantastic news to give you the go ahead to give you the go ahead to move forward so the green light to go nothing stands in your way when um, the Knight of Swords comes in your reading. Now let's take two important messages for all Aries. Now we've got success on its way. Something is happening. Getting exactly what you want, a lot of success, and with that success comes freedom. Freedom and success together. That's really wonderful. One more. Aries, September onwards. Everything they need to know. And this one. Love. Love is coming. Just like we have the Seven of Cups. Uh, there is an opportunity of love, someone wonderful, someone incredible. Um, I, I see here Chinese year of the cat, rabbit. I see Chinese year of the dog and Chinese year of the horse, very strong. I also see Chinese year of the horse twice. Chinese year of the dragon here and the ox buffalo also. Very interesting. So an opportunity of love. Love. How beautiful. So there's love and there's success. Look at that, my dear Aries. Love and success both together doesn't get any better doesn't get any better both together love and success i love that okay i know i'm repeating but sometimes when i get excited i do repeat all right now let me just remove this deck and i want to take on two more important um messages from another deck here we go we're gonna cut twice two important messages for all aries september so we have patience and planning, seven of wands, fighting also for your rights, trying to put um, your foot down and uh, fighting for what you believe in and, and for, for, um, for, for what's the word, goodness, um, defending what you have, defending your position, defending your ideals. The next one, and we've got the four of foundations, the four of money, pentacles, the four where unexpected large amounts of money ground changing foundation changing money is coming unexpected out of nowhere this is going to help you uplift you to be able to move forward you'll be able to buy um, property perhaps you'll be able to 
to do so much because this money is unexpected and it's coming in a big way. Now that we've established that, we're going to take four cards, four messages for every Aries, September onwards. I was saying, my dear viewers, we're going to start with four, my dear Aries, four messages to see what's important for you to know. The Ten of Swords, it shows a karmic chapter of your life ends completely and utterly. Something that was taking a lot out of your energy, you weren't happy, you reached to a level where there was too much, that's coming to an end. The next one shows a new beginning. Just after an ending, a new beginning is going to spark, it's going to ignite, it's going to be spectacular. You're going to have a lot of excitement, a new passion coming into your life. Life is just becoming incredible with the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands shows that you are relocating, moving. You're thinking of moving to a better place, and you are. Even if you're not thinking about it, it's going to happen after this ending. I also see someone very supportive. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Someone incredible, loyal, with you, supporting you all the way. Now, in regard to this person, okay, I'll put these a bit closer so they can show on the camera. This person here that we just talked about, I am going to go through the star signs at the end, as I always do. And we're going to get five cards out. Or a little bit more to see the star sign combination of the people, uh, the star signs of the person that you are, or this earth energy, at least you'll know who this earth energy is, and the people that you are going to be, or one or two people that you are going to be dealing with on a very high level September, and a little bit over. Okay, what you don't see happening and coming, we've got the Hierophant, you are going to commit to do better, you're committing to change your life, and moving forward, escalating your height, uh, your level of wisdom, also using your mind, your heart, and your mind, your intellect. And I feel like there is going to be somewhat of water energy, very interesting. Maybe supportive, we'll see what the water energy is all about. Okay, could be to do with work. So that's that one. Let's see what else. There may be a few more, a little bit more to know. So we've got one, two, six. So three more messages. Three more messages. September onwards for aries and we've got seven of swords something that you wanted to you've been procrastinating as a certain truth avoiding doing it leaving a situation because it's no longer working um you're realizing that there's no other way there's only one correct way and you've been trying to avoid it because you don't want to uh perhaps the truth is so hard leaving a place or someone behind so you've been procrastinating in regard to this but i feel like ultimately you are going to be leaving the truth is going to end this situation. You are going to need the strength, the power, the courage to move forward. And you are going to be given and granted that by the heavens. So that's very good. I'll just put that one over here. And finally, we've got the Queen of Wands. Someone of fire energy is going to be very, very supportive, in support of you. Fire energy is someone like yourself, could have Aries, Sagittarius or um, Leo. Very strong. Um, I'll put this one over here. No, it doesn't show. I'll put it over here, right there. Okay, so now you have an idea of what's going on. What you don't see happening is a great new beginning that gives you a lot of clarity. It gives you a great victory, and you're overcoming everything. One more challenge, and, and you're reaching there. You're reaching your destination. Okay, so before I clarify everything, I want to see what else we need to know. A few more messages. We'll take two from this deck. Whoa, two open, but everything else. Look at these two. Right. Now, bear with me. So we've got Buddha and the Feather. Now, the Feather is really wonderful because it's about abundance, easy money coming your way. Just like we talked about the Four of Pentacles, unexpected large amount of money coming, could be inheritance, could be a windfall. But now we've got divine intervention, your money, abundance and easy money is coming. It says that you might be in careers, you might be um, doing less work, light work. You might be thinking of air um, related work, maybe starting your own travel agent, um, traveling. You know, yeah, there's travel, there's air related. And some of you will be undecided just thinking what to do, what to start with this lot of money coming your way. As for Buddha, Buddha is all about life's purpose, something more than money, uh, spiritual wealth uh, rather than money, because you'll have all the money, you won't need it. All you'll do, you'll be into now spiritual wealth and maybe doing uh, careers and counseling, helping others, helping the people who are in need of support. Um, you are going to be guided and the divine path is the one that's coming next. So it's going to be divinely chosen for you, the next path. Very interesting. Let's have a look at two messages all Aries, September, and we say, it says here, you deserve love, you are lovable, you need to know that, you do deserve true love, and you are going to get just that, one more, for Aries, here we go, 
Wedding. Wow, you could be meeting the one, escalating to marriage straight away. Some of you are already there. Some of you haven't met someone you are going to be. And I feel like it's going to move to a high level. It says, this situation involves marriage. Marriage is in the picture. Wow, that is beautiful. And don't forget, the Hierophant itself is about marriage. So uh, for many of you, the, the Hierophant is commitment. And the wedding is about committing to someone and escalating your uh, relationship to high levels of uh, marriage and union and promise and continuing continuous love one message well for all areas i'll just cut it and we have says look deep within your heart and you will feel my love as my love for you is deep deeper than the ocean or as deep as the ocean so someone truly loves you and their love for you is as deep as the ocean by the Aries. So that's wonderful to know. Now, I wonder if there's anything else you need to know. Just bear with me. Very interesting. Two more messages from this deck for all Aries. We'll take the first one. I need glasses for this. We've got the bear. And the bear is about taking a pause and hibernating and um, looking at, you know, at, at everything that's possible. It is also about wealth, which we have wealth here, the Four of Pentacles. Um, it is about um, strong, large, masculine someone. Um, wealth, rich, somebody rich. It is about CEO positions, um, someone being the boss, your own business, healing. And we've got 10, which is the rooster, Chinese year of the rooster, Chinese year of the snake, Chinese year of the dragon, and Chinese year of the rat there. And then um, one more message before I clarify. The next one says, no, let it be. It says, no, let it be. This is about detachment, detaching from something and contemplating, going deep within, hibernating, just like the bear, hibernation, taking time out and, and just looking at the situation while you're, while you're, you know, you're getting yourself out of a situation. Think it all, but it says there is something ending, but there are celebrations. That's the beautiful thing. Celebrations are there. So whatever is ending, there's going to be celebrations, which is really good. There won't be any sadness. That's the good news. Anything else from this deck? I'll just see if there's one or two messages here. For all Aries, September onwards. And it says, don't listen to other people. Trust yourself to know the truth. Trust yourself to know the truth. Should I put it there? I'll put it over here. Right. And one more message. And it says, the same divine energy flows in each of us. This energy is a catalyst to our reunion. We just need to allow this energy to work its magic. I feel like this is going to be a situation where it transcends you to high levels. I also feel like um, uh, that uh, connected to the Chinese year of the tiger, connected to someone that's got Pisces Aries in them, and three from now, three days, three weeks from now, about happening very soon okay or oh, within the three weeks of august now we're going to start clarifying we're going to start with what is this situation which really it answered it because the seven came out i'll leave the seven here and i'll talk about it in a moment uh, i was looking at the seven of swords what is the situation where you are procrastinating and not wanting to leave uh, i got the seven of swords uh, seven of wands which is this card here it shows that you're needing to be patient and fight for what you believe in and set boundaries and say no you know um, and, and find out what the best thing is. Seven of Swords for the all Aries. And it shows it could be connected to someone of water energy. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. There is someone. And we had the water energy here. We had the king over here before. There we go. See? We've got the king of water. So it shows there is someone of water energy, which we'll find out who this person is. You might be torn between two situations, my dear Aries. Whether you should or not. Should stay or leave. Could be that you are with someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and you're hes hesitant to leave. At the end of the day, you are ultimately going to sort of leave. It looks like it with a seven, something karmic, a chapter is coming to an end. Where you were torn between whether you should or not, there will be news to let you know that you're able to go. Just like we had the, the Knight of Swords, which shows some news comes and that news gives you the go ahead. Green light to go. Start action and you're relocating i feel like you're moving or relocating let's have a look at uh, the seven of wands and see what is it that you're fighting for and putting your foot down and and trying to protect right so it looks like something is being someone someone is being removed from your life and i feel like it's this water energy 
uh, a situation is coming to an end where it has no foundation, no future. You could be leaving behind someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We've got two kings of water, uh, cups and a queen of cups. So there is a situation where you are fighting to, to, to fighting for your rights. And I feel like setting boundaries with someone that has water energy in them, very strong. Let's see who the queen of wands is, this fire energy. Who is this person for all Aries? After an ending of a chapter, the sun will shine and you are going to meet someone wonderful. Guess what? That person has got fire energy. There could be Sagittarius, very strong, or Leo, or like you, Aries. Um, I feel like the sun is going to bring you healing. It's going to bring you love. This person is going to be spectacular, very um, loving, a new person. I feel like this person that's coming in your life might be earth and fire. That's what I'm seeing here. I think you're leaving behind water, maybe, and there's fire and earth. But we'll find out to be 100%. I do, I, there is a possibility that you're ending also. Uh, because I asked about the Queen of Wands and we got the end of a chapter. And you're elevating to high levels and getting a lot of healing and, and abundance of uh, quality in your life. A lot of success and radiance. So it could be that you might be leaving behind a fire energy, a Sagittarius even. And there it is. Great news is coming to give you the go-ahead to move forward. So I see that you are moving forward without a doubt. Let's have a look at... Um, this page of pentacles and see who this person is for all Aries who is this person right they're saying be a little bit patient and you'll see it's a reward coming from the heavens for everything you've done an applause um, from the heavens for a job well done for your sacrifices a little bit of patience you're going to have happiness you're going to have stability and I feel the stability is coming with this earth energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn so remember that that's very important and now we move, it's one of your wishes maybe is going to be granted a soulmate that's going to be earth energy let's have a look at the new beginning the ace of wands the new beginning that brings you passion and abundance you're moving and this is happening with this new passion, new beginning happens after you relocate. We've got the relocation twice, as you can see. So it is destined that you're moving. You are destined to relocate, my dear Aries. You're moving. Destiny is intervening, taking control of situations to take you to the next level. That is why you've got the, um, the Knight of Swords showing good news coming your way. Knight of Swords everywhere. I'll just put it over here so you can see it twice. The Knight of Swords showing that some things are like news is coming to give you the go ahead to move forward. You could be in the process of finding another place, finding a new job where you have to travel for, leave the situation where you're at. But whatever is happening, it's going to be spectacular because you're leaving a situation behind and you're starting fresh. And you are going to be loving it with this great news when it comes your way. You are going to be loving this movement because so much is happening once you move. As you can see, that's doubling up to show you are moving. And destiny is going to be controlling and bringing on the next uh, agenda in your life. So prepare for that. This is the new beginning, right? Let's have a look at the Seven of Cups for all Aries. Seven of Cups. And it shows a chapter ends. And it's right after this chapter, there's going to be an opportunity. An opportunity where you need to take advantage of. This opportunity is going to help you resolve a problem. Perhaps of in the midst of leaving a situation and moving to the next level. And also, it could be an opportunity of love that will give you a great opportunity. So we did the Seven of Cups. So, so there could be uh, an opportunity of emotions and love there, meeting someone wonderful. Now, money. What you don't see happening, you will be entitled to a lot of money. Major. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is incredible. A grand rise in your money, big time. And also someone of earth energy. Remember we talked about this someone? This is the someone. Earth energy. That is going to be supporting you and loyal and, and really making an impact in your life, this person. Big time. So that's great. I was going to go to the four of pentacles. And let's see what the four of pentacles is. All Aries. The truth. It says all contemplation, all your questions. Soon they'll be answered by this ending. This ending which is inevitable, that is destined. This ending that is double, the Ten of Swords, this chapter that ends. You've had sleepless nights, you've been worried, this is coming to an end. All, everything is happening in September. So um, September, because this is the Hermit, which is the card of Virgo. September is putting an end to everything, you don't have to worry. But in regard to this, uh, f foundations and you know family, uh, lots of money coming in unexpected. It could be connected to a new commitment, perhaps, or someone new, new prosperity coming in your life and abundance. Again, wealth is coming big time on a grand scale. Wow. 
that is incredible my dear Aries money is coming big time let's have a look at the five star sign combination of the people you'll be dealing with in September onwards or meeting for the first time so the first one we've got Uranus the ruler of Aquarius that's air energy let's have a look I'm gonna cut actually I can't keep shuffling Aries star sign combinations we've got the second one and we've got Mercury the ruler of Gemini air energy and the ruler of Virgo one more uh, five more actually <laughs> two more we've got Jupiter air uh, this is Sagittarius we were talking about remember I said Sagittarius you're leaving a Sagittarius perhaps okay I'll come to it and I'll find there it is Sagittarius this is the Sagittarius I was talking about I said you could be leaving a Sagittarius Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius and we need two more okay we've got Taurus earth energy that's the earth energy we we're talking about now I know and for my dear Aries wow it's Taurus now we got it this earth energy who's going to be very very supportive my dear Aries where is it this person is Taurus why why I say they're Taurus because we've got double Taurus and we've got double of them that just tells us it is this person's got a lot of Taurus in them they are very real very honest loyal and supporting very supportive extreme supportiveness here so you're leaving behind Aquarius I feel you're leaving behind um, Germany I also feel like Mercury is also the ruler of Virgo so there could be a Virgo here also it is possible that there could be because it's earth energy and this is earth energy so you are going to be with earth energy and you are going to thrive with earth because that's your soulmate every fire energy my dear Aries and you are fire need earth to move forward to spread and expand and thrive you need earth and that's what god the heavens are giving you someone magnificent and they're going to be having a lot of taurus in them now jupiter is the ruler of sagittarius you could be leaving back someone sagittarius leaving them behind but also there is a chance that there will be sagittarius with fire there could be someone that's fire energy that has a lot of taurus or they could be born under the sign of uh, taurus and have a lot of sagittarius in them either way i feel like there is a, and they could also be a virgo with a lot of taurus or they could be taurus double taurus with virgo but it is an earth energy and you are going to be thriving together is there anything else, anyone else that you are going to be um, dealing with on a high level in September? Let's just see anybody else, anyone else that needs, yeah, Gemini. So Mercury is the ruler of Gemini and Virgo. So there is someone that has Gemini in them that doubled up and it shows they are good communicators and you are going to be working I can't say well, very well together. You might be dealing with this person on a high level. You could be dealing with someone that is Sagittarius, Jupiter, or Aquarius with Gemini um, within them. But what is your soulmate, the one that you will last with long term, is the impo most important one, and that is Earth. Earth energy. So if you've got someone like Gemini, they might have double Earth in them which makes it this person. I feel like this person has got a lot of earth and they will have an earth sign, like sun sign. And I feel like this person is going to be very, how you know this person? Someone very, very supportive, supporting you all the way. Someone wonderful is coming in your life. My dear Aries, that is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And that's the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Please watch the video all the way to the end in support of me and subscribe to the channel. It takes a few seconds and it's free to support me also. A lot of love and light to all of you. Namaste.